He about to get high like Duck. Dirk. Dirk hurt because Z-Roy gone. He heard. He heard V-Roy. Well, he better take that shit who made the uh, uh, V-Roy gone. Not my motherfucking son. Because he ain't doing. Remember, they had a song together. Remember, they had state differences. Motherfucker, study one for the industry. This is proof. Y'all really showing. Y'all y'all rich out mixing in my motherfucking son. Y'all rich out mixing in Tuka. Show your crap. Do something else besides this and music. Show motherfuckers that you really could go pop like my son was trying to do. He was trying to cross over. Yo ass sitting up here mixing in somebody who ain't get too fucked about you. He was right. You probably did Illuminati him. You probably did send him to get body. Now you study this in my motherfucking son. It's your boy Rashani Kaza and your fair feeling father. It's fair feeling father thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? All right. Shout out to Lil Dirk. He dropped that motherfucking uh, The Voice album. I listened to it today. I listened to it yesterday a little bit. I actually went down and listened to the whole shit today. It's pretty dope. He's one of the few Chicago artists you can actually hear their words clearly. He's actually one of the long-lasting Chicago rappers. Everybody else kind of like faded. But um, today, FB, FBG Duck. Mom, I think yesterday, my apologize, yesterday she came out and made a statement. I responded to one of the tracks on uh, on this on this album. Basically just saying, asking Dirk why she can't let her son rest in peace. Like, he no longer the op. That nigga dead, you know what I mean? Like, you should be making songs about the nigga that just killed your homeboy the other day, Quando Rondo. You know, I ain't, hear, I ain't really hear too many shots about Quando. I do hear him talking about Tuka and all this other shit. Like, damn, nigga still taking shots at this little nigga shit. This nigga must have really been a Chicago savage for everybody to be still dissing him years later. Like, he was one of the first packs that they claimed they were smoking on. I mean, like, they, Duck, my bad. Dirk is basically saying, fuck FBG Duck, you know, because he's basically repping a gang that so-called beefing with him prior to you know his death and shit basically saying he still got associates with the niggas that probably killed yo 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 nigga typical chicago shit know what i mean but i guess he's more concerned about his chicago beef than another nigga that's running throughout the country that niggas really don't know his whereabouts because they do say that quando rondo's high then i don't know i ain't seen no location drive to no no crazy shit like that but um, yeah, man, they, they ain't gonna let this nigga duck rest in peace. They gonna keep smoking on his pack, saying fuck that nigga. That nigga was he was he was, he was a dope nigga. He was one of the few Chicago niggas I fuck with. Uh, Rando number nine, King Louie, Montana three hundred, Dirt, Lil Reese, Chief Keith. There's very few Chicago niggas I fuck with still to this day. You know what I mean, and those were the top niggas, and uh, Dirt seems to be one of the surviving living top niggas left tell me what you think was he out of, out of line for taking shots at motherfucking uh fbg duck was his mom all up in her feelings for telling niggas to stop this and her son her son was no angel know what i mean he was basically saying fuck the ops prior to his death so who knows don't forget to subscribe like share comment follow me on instagram revolutionary cuz let the facebook fan page the revolutionary cuz show until next time smoke for your boy Triples.